Hi, this is JP from Not Lights Over Aragon. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough. And this time I am trying out a deck I found on marvelcdb.com. And it is uh, Spider or Penny Parker Justice. And I am testing this deck against Mysterio on standard difficulty. Uh, I really liked the pre-built deck of Penny Parker, the protection one, but uh, I had to try out uh, Penny Parker with my other second favorite aspect, that is Justice. So let's hop over to ArkhamDB.com and see what the deck is all about. Okay, and we are over on MarvelCDB.com and here is one way entrance to the Spider-Verse on or another deck and uh, basically, uh, it is geared towards removing side schemes or utilizing side schemes and of course, one way or, or another is a really powerful card. You can just get those side schemes out, get extra cards for uh, Penny Parker's low hand size to play uh, more cards during your turn. Uh, well, that is basically it. Nothing really fancy here. Uh, really strong Spider-Verse allies here, like, for example, well, the new Otto Octavius Spider-Man. Then uh, we have this Justice Spider-Man, Patripat Hakar, and of course, uh, Spider-Man Peter Parker, uh, which comes in the Sinister Motives uh, box, and this is a really good... Uh, ally to have if you can get him into play but it shouldn't be a problem with the uh, interfere uh, with penny parkers or the spider so it's uh, resources that will be generated uh, i won't go into much detail on the deck because i didn't build it i just borrowed it from marvelcdb.com and uh, I'll put the link to the decklist into the video description if you want to check out the deck more in depth. But that is all I wanted to say about the deck. So let's go over back to the game. So we are ready to start. I have already put the shifting operation uh, into play per the setup rules and everything is ready to go. So let's get started. Okay, and we'll start by drawing our opening hand of four cards. Then uh, let's see what we can do with these cards. Well, one way or another could be useful. We got Psychic Link, which will help us keep the threat low. Uh, let's see. I can use this if I don't get extra cards, but um, do I want to attack? I think I need to of the shifting operation immediately so a hard choice well rapid deployment is not that useful and we don't have the resources to play the scarlet spider so i'll mulligan those two i'll just keep the one way or another just in case in hand for now so i'll draw two cards so nothing good uh no more um inter or what are those called uh, interface uh, upgrades so that is a problem i think we need to draw two more cards to hope to get well we got the host spider which is really good so we'll flip to uh, hero mode so we'll do this shift a row here and uh, i'll use uh, this i could play the Clear the area to draw a card. I'll actually do that. So I'll play. Clear the area to remove two. We'll draw a card. Ejection protocol. I will use these three to play host spider. We'll ready. We'll kill off this shifting operation. And we did excess damage, so we have to shuffle one card from the top of the encounter deck into my uh, draw deck and just so that I don't know where the 
card lands. I am not looking at my deck, I promise, uh, while I'm shuffling, so hopefully that is enough to keep it random and not utilize that the card backs are different. Okay, and uh, then uh, we could, I think we'll do this, the, I'll play the one way or another. We'll search the deck for, okay, well that was at the bottom. We don't want to put our nemesis set side scheme into play. I have only one card in my hand, so I'll play the weakness from within. That's fine for now. We'll shuffle the encounter deck. And... Uh, Put this side scheme into play. It comes into play with two, uh, two threat on it. We'll draw three cards. One, two, three. And... Uh, okay, so... That seems like a good idea. So, we'll... Just debating, do I want to put the skill investigator into play? No. I think I'll use these two to play the upgrade. And keep Otto Octavius in my hand. So we'll play him next round. And uh, that is all we can do. We ready up. We draw back up to our hand size of three limitless stamina and rapid deployment. And that is our turn. No other actions. So we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, Mysteria attacks. I won't defend. So uh, we'll be facing one plus two. And this is an illusion, so it shuffles into our deck. And again, I'm not looking what uh, while I'm shuffling. Okay, and uh, we take uh, three damage. Then, um, yeah, I'm getting to put every. Well, we'll add that there. Uh, we'll get an encounter card. It is assault, so Mysteria attacks again. And I think we can defend for this one. Oh yeah, this doesn't trigger yet. So, uh, one plus, three, and this is an illusion. And draw three cards, discard three random cards from your hand. So that sucks. So... Let's resolve that, so we draw three, and we get these cards, we shuffle our hand, and we discard three random cards, so I'll discard every other card, just to be random enough. We lose, of course, we lose the Otto Octavius, which is a shame, but we have uh, web fluid compressor in hand, which will help us to deal more damage and turn the tide and also limit the stamina. Still, this is an illusion, so it shuffles into our deck, and we were pretty close of getting one. So, again, I'm shuffling blind, and we'll stop here. Okay, and uh, we took. We defend for two, so we take one damage. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, we have some choices here. So first off, I'll ready. I'll use uh, Psychic Link and uh, Spider to play Web Fluid Compressor. So we have three of the upgrades, or four actually. 
then I will... Oh yeah, uh, we got an extra card, which I forgot to reveal, so we'll reveal that. So, Mysterio got the Master of Mirage, uh, Master of Full Mirage into play, and that's okay now. So, um... Let's see. I'll uh, hit for two. This gets removed. So when you deal any amount of damage to Mysterio, discard the top four cards of your deck instead. Discard this card. So one, two, three, four. We didn't hit any more threat uh, encounter cards, so we lose these cards. I think that's okay. Then. Um, We'll play Limitless Strength uh, Stamina, so uh, play only if your identity has at least 14 printed hit points. We have 14 printed hit points. So we're ready. Then I will thwart... I'll thwart this away. We'll turn the tide and deal 3 damage to Mysterio. So, after your hero thwarts and removes all threat from a scheme, deal 3 damage to an enemy. And that is our turn. Uh, we ready up. We draw 3. We <laughs> barely missed that one. Uh, okay, looking good. Uh, we'll add one threat to the main scheme. Mysterio attacks. I will defend. And... Uh, uh, one plus two is three, so we take one damage through, and that wasn't an illusion, so we don't have to shuffle that into our deck. Which is a shame because we want to shuffle that deeper into our deck. We get an encounter card. It is deja vu, and I'll just add one threat to the scheme. So when revealed, choose to either take one damage or place one threat on the main scheme. Shuffle deja vu into any player's deck. So. Okay, well, that, this shuffles into our deck, so that shuffles our deck, and hopefully we are, don't have a treachery or an encounter card on top. And I'll stop shuffling now. And uh, that is the villain phase, so let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, uh, this round... Could play so we can just put this into play. So ignore the card's resource cost if your identity has the web warrior trait response. After a web warrior ally leaves play, choose a player that player draws one card. So I'll just put this into play. Then uh, we'll ready and we will. Exhaust this to thwart for four. We'll use this to ready. And we'll use this to play uh, ready each interface upgrade you control. I'll do that. So we ready. These are interface upgrades. And uh, we will uh, put plus two, so we deal four damage. We will ready deal two more damage. We are just pounding away here, and uh, that is everything we can do. So we ready up. We draw three, one, two, three. We get uh, making an entrance, speed metal alloy, and turn the tide. That is good. So we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Stereo attacks. I will defend. So one plus one is two. We don't take any damage, and that isn't an illusion. We get an encounter card, and it is fool's, paray, uh, fool's paradise. So each identity gets plus two hand size. And it has a bunch of symbols, and it has six threat on it. 
and victory won. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So even though uh, Fool's Paradise seems like a great idea, we really want to get rid of it. So I'll use the host spider ready. I'll use uh, this to play making an entrance. We'll use the psychic link and uh, vote for six. This gets removed, goes uh, to the victor display and we heal two damage. And also we can play turn the tide which will deal three damage. So, uh, actually we were at 6, so we are down to 3 damage, like so. And, uh, I'll use this to play the Speed Metal Alloy. So now we have all the upgrades in play, which is really good. We'll ready up. We'll draw 3, 1. Two, three. Okay, so now the encounter cards are coming with a vengeance. So all systems go turn two and Spider Man. So we can play Spider Man, which will make us ready mo even more, which is really good. And we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Mysterio attacks. I will. Mm, yeah, I'll use the speed metal ally and defend. Uh, 1 plus 0 is... It. we don't take any damage. Uh, encounter cards are... Um, manipulated mind, so... So... Uh, attach to the ally with the control closed, because you cannot discard game search, so it searches. So, Humongous Hallucination comes into play, and advance, so we... What, 2 plus 2 is 4. So that is not nice, so we are at 6 of 8, we don't want to get uh, let that advance. And that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, um, first up we will ready. Then we will play... Spider-Man, so I'm using a wild, uh, mental and uh, energy resource, so we put Spider-Man <coughs> into play. I'll use uh, one of the all systems go to play the other, so we'll ready this. Then, uh, Spider one will ward for two. So we'll take, uh, actually, let's back up. First, we will ward for four. Then, we will do this. What for two ready our identity and we'll hit for four. And I'll spend two. Uh, let's see, can I? Yeah, I can generate those resources to get rid of this. Spend one resource of any type and shuffle the top two cards and control deck to your deck. So those go into my deck, and, uh, oh yeah, so I'm using the, uh, the defense one, so we'll shuffle these, again, not looking at the deck while shuffling, and I'll stop now, okay, and, uh, uh, we'll get to ready. Oh yeah, Mysterio will advance to phase 2. So, in play order, shuffle the top card of the encounter deck into each player's deck. <laughs> we have a really mo lot of encounter cards here now. 
and I'll stop now. And uh, Mysterio has 17 health, so I'll just hit for two. And uh, we'll put 15 up to the board. So we are halfway through Mysterio. Wheel ready up. We draw three, one, we get an encounter card, and two, three. We get Spider Command making an entrance on Venom. Okay. And Mysterio. Uh, we add one threat here. Mysterio adds tax for two. I will defend. Two plus one, zero. We don't take any damage. We get two encounter cards. So we get Deja Vu. We'll just take one. Well, we'll just put one threat here. This shuffles into our deck. I'll stop shuffling now. Okay, so <laughs> we know that we're drawing that. So Peril. Uh, when you reveal discard cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of cards in your hand, so three. If uh, at least one identity specific card was discarded this way, place one threat on the main screen. If no identity specific cards were discarded this way, take one damage. So uh, we discard one, two, three, and because we put those cars we draw cars so let's see when you would draw or discard an encounter card from the deck deal it to yourself as a face down encounter card and draw a card so we'll get two cards okay so <laughs> so we draw a card then we okay this is getting out of oh sorry for bumping Camera, just correcting it. Okay. So, I think that is all. But these are for next round, so... Uh, <laughs> we should try to survive next round somehow, but yeah. Uh, we got uh, Aunt and May. Aunt May and Uncle Ben. Chance encounter, clear the area. A spider command making an entrance and venom, so we'll definitely play venom down. So that is that round. I think I resolved that correctly, but let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, let's see what we can do now. First off, uh, we will we'll, uh, ready. We'll play venom and. Uh, we use one, two, three, and uh, four. So we get three counters on Venom. So Venom is four, four, four attack. Then, uh, let's see. I think I'll clear the area. Card, Ghost Spider. Well, uh, fortunately, we don't have enough resources for Ghost Spider, but I'll save Ghost Spider for next round. So I'll put Spider Command into play with the making an entrance and keep Ghost Spider in hand. Then um, we'll hit for two, we'll hit for four. They're at nine. And we'll hit for two. Ready, hit for two. So we did still need to deal five more damage. And uh, that is it. We draw one, two cards. Okay. Two one way or another. So probably not playing those. So we're ready up. And uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. 
Mysterio attacks. I will defend using this. And it isn't an illusion, so choose uh, to either spend two resources or deal this card to yourself as based on whose card. I'll spend the resources. So we don't take any damage. Then we get an encounter card and a bunch of these. So we get the shifting aberration. Deja vu will add this. This gets shuffled back. Okay, well, not looking, and I'll stop now. Okay. Coat of Guard. Um, we lose the Spider Command. Then, Fearmonger. Discard your hand, and draw up to your hand size. Well. Search. So we this go to the next round. We draw, get an extra card for next round. Shuffle our deck. Okay, and uh, we get the uh, web trap. Then uh, delusion of. Collusion, so you cannot ready allies or persona support controls. Uh, we get analysis paralysis and induced panic. That, that's your identity. You cannot resolve triggered abilities in your hero's printed text box. Okay. And that is that. So that is that round. Let's finish the game on the next round. So, not much to do. Oh yeah, we had to search. We'll get this into play. We don't care about this one. We are not working anymore. So, we'll just ready. We'll... Uh, hit for four. And uh, we'll hit for four, so that is enough. Oh yeah, and uh, Spider-Man will first defeat this, so we shuffle one card here, but that doesn't matter. So I forgot we had the guard in play, but it didn't matter. So uh, we defeated Mysterio uh, quite easily, I think. Uh, we weren't... Uh, going to be defeated anytime soon. We had our setup uh, before we uh, rotated our whole deck even once. Um, we got a bunch of those uh, encounter cards during our last turn, but still uh, it didn't matter. We were able to just churn out a ton of damage, keep the threat low and stuff, all that good stuff. So I really <laughs> like Spider or Penny Parker uh, even more now that I have played more with her. So, hope you guys uh, find Penny as fun to play as I do. So, uh, yeah, I've nothing more to say. It's a solid deck. Kudos to the guy who made it and go check it out on marvelcdb.com. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time.